You, it's the answer back in the building. We got Mace. Did Mace really say bad boy? Does he really have a reason to be mad at Puff? Wack goes at him about that. He signed the contract, so didn't he know what he was expecting or what to be expected? You be the judge, let me know in the comments. Let's get to it. You hear me comment throughout. Thanks for tuning in. And me and you both know that you're a little smarter than, well, a whole lot smarter today than you was all them yesterdays. But Mace, you took that bag, bro. What bag? You keep accusing Puff, uh, uh, he got something of yours. And the only way he could have it is if you did a contract. What you mean? Yeah. You keep saying that. What do you keep saying? Is it your publishing or some song? What, what is it that he won't release? Nah, we had a we had an understanding that you wouldn't know about. Okay, but what? Uh oh, did he run on me? He got on on me. <laughs> yeah, that was tricky, nigga. You just that, that was a rabbit hole. <laughs> he got on on me. He got on on me. And now because we had this he conversation. Spent. He spent. When he wasn't in the room, we gonna holler. He know, I know. Contracts that, that you don't gotta... know about, bro. It's them contracts you don't know about. Mm, he said, so, I got it. Back. This song. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Back. Oh, yeah. Did you know it? Oh, yeah. I was saying that we had we had an agreement for something that happened that day. People were gonna stand on. You know that, bro. Nah, that's cool. And I'm gonna stand on what I'm gonna stand on. That's what makes us both stand on different places. That's respected as man. You chilling with the answer. So how many more diss songs you gonna have on Puff? I don't really make I don't really make diss songs. I really just speak my mind. Like I speak my mind once, and then after that, it goes wherever it goes. Cause That's you know I, I was with Fabio on them last night. All you gave him was five thousand. Yeah, I gave him seven hundred and fifty. We paperwork people, right? So you gotta yep. go by what the paperwork says. I I gave him seven hundred thousand. That's after you went and got the deal. Yeah. So if you ask me for, if you ask me to help you, I'm not supposed to pay you to help you. You're supposed to pay me to help you, right? You're a businessman. Well, so no, nah, if you see so some value with, in somebody, no, you got to give them a little there. bag. I, was, I wasn't going there for him. I was going there for an artist named JD. And the reason oh. why I do, I do the deals the way I do them, and so when we go to the table, I could give an artist back the things that the label would take from Chilling with the answer. So it's really like securing them. So when we went to the table, I was able to give them back all of the stuff that I originally signed off to myself. So whether you got, it was... Got you. Got you. Okay. I got you. What's now, the Mace. What's the name of the diss song, right? Now, Mace, Mace crazy, man. That nigga, I forget. He, he put that about two months ago. He crazy. I got the <laughs> he knew Puff wasn't going to respond. Mace knew Puff was not going to say one word back. He, Mace back. <laughs> he chilling with the answer. He knew what he I was mean. doing. It Mace crazy. That's how Puff is not going to say nothing back at all. Puff survived death row and all that. Yeah. Puff with no conflict with no yeah. nigga. Oh, yeah. I, I, when I speak, I know it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say something. I know it ain't the truth. We live in a social world media that people can hold you um, accountable for what you're saying. So I know there's nothing I'm saying that's not true. So you think Puff could knock you out in the third round or think you'll get him in a second? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, you know, the I'm nigga actually, in shape a little bit, Mace. I'm actually an ex-Golden Glove. That's something you probably didn't know about. Me. Yeah, but you know, Get in shape a little bit, bro. I don't know. <laughs> he get up in there and do some of them spin moves. He get to doing them spin moves. You ain't going to catch him in the ring. Nah, that's why that's, that's why everybody always talk about me. Mason better in the building. They know they ain't going to win that. They know they're not going to win that. So take it somewhere else immediately. That ain't I said, they happen. say, yo, Mace got a diss song. I said, Mace tripping. Mace tripping confident. Nate, man, Mace over there on some book. He killed Puff on that, <laughs> by the way. Sheesh. Yo, whack, you out. You chilling with the answer. Bro, y'all got to understand, he knew that that man, <clears throat> he knew he was going to listen to it. That's all that song was about. I want to tell you how I feel again. That's it. <laughs> no, he knew I that nigga said, wasn't going to say nothing. I never said how I felt. 
I never said how I felt in twenty in twenty some years. I never said how I felt. What in the song you address how you felt? You right? Sure did. Welcome yeah, everybody. Just join the chat. Get the likes up. Appreciate it. We got eight hundred in the building. So you ain't seen time. that? That's you right. telling me all these years, bro? You ain't ran into him? Nah. Last time I saw him was right before um Kobe Kobe passed away at the um awards. So I was supposed to go do the um awards, and then after that we were supposed to work out the business. And then when after I did the show, you know, more funny business happened. So that's where I, that's what I felt. Oh, so y'all was supposed to work out something, then he got he went dark on you. You know how I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's weird. Why would he say he gonna work it out? And then get weird. Nah, you know how when other people get involved, I think a lot of people had their, you know, the mediators and the middlemen and everybody like, yo, I'm going to get Mace to do this and you do this for Mace. You know how I go. And then they, the, the thing about me, whatever we talk about, that's what it's going to have to be. And yeah, but that's that, what I'm saying. That didn't make sense to me because Puff is usually, he going to do what he want to do. You know that, brother, you like it or not. It's what it is. It's what's on the table. That's what it is. So for him to allow some some mediators to change up for what y'all talked about, is a little nah, but that's where the class that's where the class is because i mean most people you could get away with that with and, and he, he know he can't get away with that with me that's what's been the clash in our relationship because i'm not gonna go for what everybody else gonna go for yeah that's why see i'm gonna be real right when you start <laughs> doing the pastor shit and i know you something like an asshole right you know what i'm saying so he said you know, something you like a lot of these people with the little demeanor and all the little shit. Killing with the answer. But you know, you, you get on your wicked when you want to. Nah, I'm just like I'm I'm a hundred percent of what we talk about. Whatever we talk about, even like with music, one of the things that people don't didn't understand about me, like I told everybody I was not to be like in music for a long time. So it whether they took my words serious or not is on them. It's not nobody that could say, yo, Mason never really told me that. From the first day I got into music, I told them, like, yo, I'm going to be here for really one album. And that was already understood. I said it more than one time, even in interviews. But people didn't really take it serious. So when Your they contract was a one-off, bro? No, but that's, again, that's on that's on them, whether they take that serious or not. Hey, that's, you crazy, yo, Mace. You know you crazy. Nah, I'm money, sign a two, money. three, four, five album deal and then say that's so them. You tripping. No, the reason why I'm saying that is because when you do a deal, you only get money for one album. Back in those days, you only get money for one album. Each yeah. album, you get yeah. the money. So I never took the money for a second album and not deliver the album. As they gave me the money, I produced the albums. So as, even though we have it in writing... The label can come back and say, you know what? We don't want to give you a third album or we don't want to give you a second album. So it's not like I signed something and took the money and ran with the money. We have an agreement. If you show me the money, then we have an album. They didn't show no money. We didn't have no album. You get you, you get out of that work. Yeah, for real. It, it's not like today where they up front you all the money and niggas go crazy and buy chains and all that. It wasn't like that. It was like. I mean, for the money that I got, I, I produce a thousand times over. If you say you gave Mace $20,000 and Mace produced all of those records in the 90s, it was really death row against me after Biggie died. So I produced all those records. I mean, wrote them and did everything about them. So arranged them and everything. So why, why would I be somewhere asking you for anything realistically? So in conclusion, it looks like on the surface, Mace had a deal, signed it, knew what to expect. But you heard what he said. He had a contract that none of us knew about or an arrangement or an agreement. I don't know this verbal handshake or whatever. Also, the nuance in the contract where it was not up front, present the money, get the product. They stopped presenting the money. He stopped producing the product. Next thing you know, he preached it in Georgia. So it goes. So that gives us a better understanding. Thanks for tuning in. It's the answer. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.